What's going on guys, this is Zebo here with another After Effects tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do 2D motion tracking in After Effects. And actually I already have this rendered out and so I'm going to go ahead and play a preview of what I'm going to show you guys so you know what to expect. And so just watch this and then I'll be right back. Alright, so now that you know what we're going to be doing today, I will go ahead and show you guys how to do that. As you can see, I have the project file right here, and we can see that it's just three simple layers, and this is not too hard to do, it's just getting that right motion track point. And so I'm going to go ahead and delete all this, and I'm just going to keep this composition, ignore it that it's a composition, it is, um, I just have it in a new composition because I actually added some time remapping excuse me and so that this would be slowed down a little bit and so just ignore that just pretend like this is your clip and so what we need to do right now is come up here go to layer new null object there's our null object and what we need to do is come over here make sure you click on workspace motion tracking and make sure you set your motion source to mp4 comp and just hit that button and then click on it and hit track motion and what we need to do is zoom in here and find a point on here that we can actually track our motion with and so let's go ahead and move this around and see if we can't find some a pretty good point let's see we zoom in here we can see that there's like a little little black speck right here and you want to find something that kind of stands out from the rest of it and it's gonna give you a pretty nice motion track and so we select that point and let's go over here back over here and hit um, edit target make sure that's on null too and let's analyze this just go forward and see if it see if it looks good and as you can see, it's tracking that point pretty well. It's a little jittery, but there's nothing you can do about that. And so I'm just going to go ahead and make sure that edit target is on null 2 and hit apply. Um, X and Y dimensions hit OK. And now we can see that we have all these little points. If we hit P on our keyboard under this null object, we have all of these little points. And so what we need to do now is just make some text or get an object or something. I'm just going to make some text and type in Zebo. And I'm just going to turn the opacity down a little bit to about 50%. And just drag it over here on the wall. Maybe mess with the rotation. Hit R on your keyboard to make it look more realistic. And so now we can see that we have that there. But it's not motion tracked and so just get this little squiggly line this little twister thing and drag it on top of your null too and then now if we do this we can see that it is motion tracked and it looks pretty good let's go ahead and ram preview this let's let that load and then we'll watch it we can see that it is just a little bit off and honestly you're never going to get um you're almost never going to get the motion track perfect and for me what I like to do is just come up here to my text hit P on my keyboard and make a new position and if we watch this we can see that it's trailing a little bit to the right and so just go to the very end and let's just move over our x-axis just a little bit to where we it actually should be so if we watch this now we can see that that does look a little bit better and so you don't have to adjust that, but that's just all going to be based on personal preference. But we can see that that made it look a lot better just by adding those two little keyframes since it's not perfect. And another thing I forget forgot to mention is make sure you highlight all of these and hit F9 on your keyboard. And what that's going to do is it's just going to enable it to go a little bit smoother. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I didn't go into too much detail, and so... I really hope you guys got the key points of it and you guys can do your own motion tracking now. 
And so if you guys have any more tutorial suggestions you want me to do, feel free to comment below and please, please, please like this video, hit the favorite button and comment if you enjoyed it. Uh, that's what motivates me and keeps me posting all these tutorials and also I've made a new show um, with all my tutorials in it and that should be, you should see that in the description, the little icon that says uh, tutorials by Zebo or whatever, just click on that, that'll bring you to my show with every single one of my tutorials I have ever posted and so um, just thank you guys for watching this, thank you all for all your continuous support. I hope you had a great Christmas and hope you guys have a good new year. And so my name is Zebo and I will see you next time. Thank you guys all for watching. <laughs>